where are we now? We started at uh, quadrilaterals a few streams ago. We talked about rhombuses and rectangles and squares. We talked about area and how area is essentially multiplication. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and lower my gain just a little bit. Area is multiplication when it comes right down to it. You take a length dimension and a, um, and a width dimension, the names don't really matter, and you multiply them together. And it's really important to remember that area is multiplication because it will make all of the, what's it, uh, formulas later on for all the different areas that you're going to find, it's gonna make them make a lot more sense if you remember that it's always broken down to some length times some width. Okay, uh, text-to-speech, yes, that's what, you, or that's what I meant to say. The input and output, I got mixed up. We'll talk about functions later on. Um, so it looks like today we're gonna talk about perimeter. Now, while area is multiplication, perimeter is addition. We are going to be adding up a bunch of linear distances to make a linear distance. So essentially what the perimeter is, is how long would you walk if you were to walk all the way around the outside of some kind of shape? So let's see here. What do we got? We have find perimeter by counting units. So it says here that each square on the grid is one unit square. I imagine it's gonna ask me to find the perimeter of the shaded square. So again, and I love this so much about Khan Academy, it is giving us a new idea, perimeter, and it's going to give us that idea the same way it gave us addition, right? We start with counting, then we do some basic addition, then we do some more complicated addition, and then you're an expert. And it's, it's, it's good that they're using the same sequence of events because this should feel very familiar. You're like, oh, we're just counting again. Oh, we're just adding again. Oh, perimeter is just adding. And helps it click a lot better. I see 16 here. Which is interesting because it is also the area because that's four for you. Four, eight, 12, 16. So again, all we need to do is count up the, uh, the sides. Let's go ahead and actually mark them up. Uh, this is something that I do when I am on like an actual worksheet. I actually mark them because that way I will remember where I started. Otherwise I'll forget. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. We are left with what looks like maybe Cookie Monster and a final perimeter of twenty-two. It's just counting. It's just adding. It's just cookies. That was the most sinister cookie monster I could have possibly done. I apologize. 22 units. Moving on. The alert is loud. I can fix that. All right, that should make it significantly quieter. Again, one, two, three, four, five times two is 10. Did you see what I did there? Just take a moment, pause the video if you want. What I said was one, two, three, four, five times two is 10. I'm finding shortcuts in my counting and my addition, just like I did when we were doing addition. I believe the perimeter is 10. There will be a, um, let's see, there will be a common mistake where, where students will continue to count the area instead of the perimeter especially at first, be patient with that. It's adjusting to a new way of looking at something and that always takes some time.
Uh, that looks like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 units. So when there's a square, there is four times the square's side length, right? There's three times four. Each one is three times four sides is 12. With the, with the four by four square, it just so happens that four squared and four times four are the same thing. They mean the same thing. They got the same answer. Moving on. Silver key, how was that on alert level? 